Now we've just ducked down to the Rubicon River from our base at uh, the breakaway and it's only literally about 10 minutes away. We're in the middle sections of the Rubicon and everything's literally just so close from using a, a good base there. Um, we're, we're hoping to get like a few grasshopper feeders in around these uh, paddocks. Um, they've been lined on the walk down, lined with grasshoppers, so we're hoping a few of those are going to jump in. And you do get some sizeable fish in this river system here. So we've got an eight foot four weight in a stalker glide. It's got a bit of punch in it because you can get fish up to, you know, two, three, even four pound in tight little water. So it's pretty hard work to even hang on to. But the beauty of this area is you've got so many opportunities. You know, you can be on the Goulburn, the Rubicon, the Stevenson, the Akron. It's literally got everything all within minutes of one area. So get out, come up to this area. You're going to have a lot of fun fly fishing out. And that's what a lot of these fish are going to be eating, your normal little grasshopper like that. Got uh, like dull colour, little bits of red through it and they sort of give a bit of a kick and the rubber leg stimulator just works a treat. So we'll put that up in front of these fish. Ten. Nice little fish, beautiful. And that's what you're looking for, even a short little run like that. It's only a couple of feet deep and uh, we might actually get this one in the net <laughs> and uh, just a lovely little brown here and that, that's what the Rubicon can be like. It's got a mixture of both browns and rainbow um, and certainly persists with this deeper water, sort of knee deep and uh, with a bit of flow because that chills that up a bit. But even just there you've got a nice little deflection where there's a bit of moving water and it can certainly bring the fish and hold them there as well. So. Uh, and that uh, rubber leg stimulator just looks like so many different items of food and the fish just can't resist it. These are beautiful fish of a, a brown, so no red stripe. Get some lovely dots in a lot of these Rubicon fish. And they're just a stunning little brown trout to get on a, uh, a great dry fly. Just get that out. That's beautiful. And that's why you do it. Great little fish like that. And like with all of them, put him back, let him swim out of your hands. Somebody else can come and catch that because it's an awful lot of fun. So uh, pick your spots. Don't just go willy-nilly and just cast erratically. Look to where you think a fish is going to be. Concentrate your casts around there. And if you equate this type of fishing to golf, you know, if you get a big river, you're talking a really big long drive, this is your putting and chipping. This is really accurate next to trees and work every bit of water and hopefully you put that fly in front of a fish and he'll come up and take it just like that one. So when you need that next break away, you know the place.